Right, and we are live! Welcome to the Wednesday Nights, a group of friends who get together and play games live on Roll20. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube to watch all of our previous episodes. Now, let's meet everyone. Tonight we have Bryce. Hello, hello. I will be playing Trillic, the Dragonborn Sorcerer, and subbing in for Brassbutt, the Bard. And Laird. Good evening. I am Laird, and I am playing Torin, the Rogue uh, Arcane Trickster. And Keith. Hello. I'll be playing Ulsa Rue, who is a barbar halfling barbarian. Steve. Hey, I'll be playing Well Met Wings, the Kinku Monk. And I am GM Jeremy. Tonight we uh, we won't have Hans, right? So as Bryce was saying, uh, yeah, he's going to be uh, taking over the role of, of Brass Butt for the evening. And... We will be playing tonight the fantastic and funkalicious Final Force 5 using the D&D 5e rules in a campaign set in the Forgotten Realms. How's everybody doing? Fair. Doing well. Excellent. Fair. What I what I want to know yeah. is how our how you our own Stephen Page of D&D is doing. <laughs> I'm doing every fantastic and funkalicious. <laughs> right on. Every time I see the bare naked ladies, I can't help but see that guy and think of you. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. <sighs> sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm doing. I'm doing good. I um, I'm excited that it's Sunday night and that we're uh, back to, to uh, gaming and. I'm excited to see where this next step in the campaign takes you guys because um, I kind of had in my mind, you know, kind of the way things would kind of flow. But I think one of the great things about D&D, right, is that uh, as the game goes, like things splinter off, you know, and, and it changes what's happening in the story. And so I'm really curious to see what the, uh, what the next steps are and what happens with everyone. So, all right. So for for all of our viewers, right? All two of you. <laughs> I don't know how many there are. Um, two hundred? You mean two hundred? All two hundred of our viewers. If you missed last week's right epic battle, go find it on YouTube. Find it, watch it. It was, dare I say, badass. It's pretty awesome. It was badass. Weird. Yeah. You dare. You dare. I, I dare. Yeah. So, so yeah, so a uh, quick, quick little recap. You guys, um, you guys found this chamber filled with pod people being made, uh, filled with murder machines guarding this tainted moon pool. Getting close to the moon pool, you discovered that there was this fungus dragon egg immersed in there and that egg was tainting all of the water and and that water from the moon pools was spreading out through some sort of network you know magical or or what spreading out right likely to other moon pools uh brass butt bravely climbs down there and destroys that that dragon egg and everyone's fighting and clamoring trying to get to the the moon pool to use its teleportation properties and surprisingly you all ended up in it surprisingly right and so that takes us to kind of. <laughs> Even even also kind of I kind of made it into it. I'd say dragged into it with yeah. some feathers. Whatever it takes, right? Yeah. Whatever it takes. When when we entered that room and Trillic uh, was racing to the the uh the well initially I wanted Torin to try to beat him there. <laughs> but Should've. as as fighting started, uh, the D and D player, the hero, and me just couldn't leave comrades behind. <laughs> <laughs> well, even comrades that were just getting high. <laughs> well, yeah. like, all, 
I thought we were totally screwed. Yeah, all the more so reason to feel sorry yeah. for him. Yeah. All right, so so even climbing into the pool, right? It was it still had this oily, like taintedness to it, but it did activate. And that takes us to where we are now. <clears throat> the swirling waters of the moon pool engulf you. But rather than the smooth, tranquil transition from one place to another you have previously experienced, this time there is a tainted, sickening, oily, and also turbulent feeling as the waters are just rushing around you and pulling you and swirling one direction and then and then another and you can sense this dark force that seems to just continually be trying to engulf you trying to pull you some direction or maybe even to just tear you apart suddenly all motion stops as if frozen in time the specks in the tainted water seem to slowly float past your vision. In the distance, a blue light can be seen moving closer to you, gradually cutting through the darkness. This presence pauses before you in front of Trillic. A female voice floats to you as you seem to hover. She says, The darkness that taints my moon pools will take time to diminish. Even now, the beast's influence is still strong here. Weaker, though, thanks to you, but still strong nonetheless I can help you this once for your deeds the beast is pulling you towards him so that you may face him and his followers I can step aside and allow him his chance for vengeance if you so wish or I can transport you now to another place, give you another opportunity for life and adventure in a far away place, away from the influence of Melar, but not necessarily safe. The choice is yours. Does Yurik work with Melar? Hmm. Yorick's relationship with Melar is more complicated than it appears on the surface. And all of you guys can talk except for Ulsa. Ulsa's unconscious. No death saves at the moment because <laughs> things seem frozen. decisions I'm trying to think how to how to word the question because um, Trillic will do anything to um, hurt Yurik I mean that's his whole thing okay. him and Brassbutt hmm <laughs> You can all speak up. You can talk amongst yourselves. Because she's speaking... This, this force is in front of Trillic just because of the position of everybody through this swirling like whirlpool that you were going through. But you can all see what's happening, and you can all speak as well. Well, Yurik and, and Millar seem to be working towards the same ends as far as I can see it. 
So I would I would stay to continue the resistance. It doesn't I think sound like for my brother. It doesn't sound like she was saying we can just stay. It sounds like the next thing we see is going to be the face of our enemy. She, or something else. So she's she's presented you guys I with think, a choice. Yeah, I think she's going to dump us either back into Moonshay, somewhere on Moonshay, because we got to come out one of the pools. She'll... Or, like, back on the main Lunda for run. Yeah, so she's saying she can, she can... She's saying that to thank you for your deeds, that she will this one time send you to someplace else because right now the force of Melar is pulling you directly towards him it has it has influenced and taken you know it's tainted this moon pool and it's pulling you towards him okay oh so we're being teleported to Melar right now so so either she will step aside Right, and you go wherever he's pulling you, or she will transport you somewhere else this one time. Not necessarily someplace safe, but an opportunity for life and adventure. Up to okay. you. That's different. Yeah, definitely would um, uh, regroup at this point somewhere else. With one of us unconscious, I've got yeah three hit points. <laughs> I, I don't want to get dumped into immediate hostile territory. I'd rather get dump, dumped back in Waterdeep or even somewhere else on on Moonshay, or you know whatever. But not like straight into the mouth of the beast. You know we're not ready for that. Are there other moon pools on the Isles that are tainted in the same way this one was? All of them were. Yeah, they're all connected. All of the moon pools on Moonshay were tainted because with fungus because of what was happening here. Can you tell us where you'd be able to send us? Hmm. It would be someplace far away. Not even necessarily on Faerun. That's pretty funky. <laughs> or Back to the spaceship. Or, or I can That's what step, I was thinking. Or I can step aside and you will be pulled wherever you're being pulled to. And I, I have no alter as the dungeon master. I have no ulterior motive in either direction. I'm prepared for both. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I have prepared sure, for both. Sure. Shut up. No. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, I have. We also, know one side is, no of the moon pool is going to be guarded, right? It's going to be under the control of Malar or whatever. The beast. Yep, Malar. You the other one, we don't know. What do you mean? The other one? Well, I mean, <clears throat> the other the other place, the other choice. Correct. Yeah, we, you don't, we, don't, we don't know. So if we, if we let her take us someplace else, it sounds as though it takes us off the, the field as players in the here and now. That is correct. Depending on how... No, this is what Torin's saying to them. Okay. Uh, depending on how well we can do to get back to a point that would bring us back onto the playing field. Well, you're not going to get probably paid if we go the second choice, right? Well, not immediately. Um, well, the fact this is probably a manifestation of Shantaea in, in front of us, because um, that's who controls the moon pools. I uh, I trust in going where she leads. I mean, if she's offering this, this is a gift. This isn't like a trick. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it would be beneficial no matter what the outcome. 
to the greater good of striking against Yurik and Malar, who I think are basically, you know, not the same thing, but parallel to each other's goals. Yeah, I mean, we, she says, we, she says, you, you have struck well and deeply against the dark forces of Melar. <clears throat> you need not do any more, any further. You should be proud of the work you have done so far in your battle against the beast. I can help end that part of the journey for you. Or you can see it through. And I will just step aside. Damn it. What a conundrum! Now you all know the conundrum I was faced with all week. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to put it on them. <laughs> Roll the dice or retire with the 2,000 gold that we got in our pocket. <laughs> At the very least. I Hopefully. say take the gift. We don't have brass butts input. Yeah, yeah there's it's nothing we can do about pulled, that. Pulled has been paid for. Mm -hmm. You know, the services for Pold have been accomplished. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Trillic and Brassbutt are done. Uh, their, their only thing is, you know, Yurik, you know, harming Yurik, which, you know, they've done. Right. In a very large way. Because now the island is open for other people to come on it again. Yeah. But, uh. So, I'm fine with leaving. I'm, I, my part's done. Part of part of your, I mean, Torin doesn't know this, but part of your goal I always thought was getting back to the the original group you came from. Well, they were just another group. I mean, me, me, me and Brassbutt are travelers. I mean, the the From Twins are travelers, so this is you know nothing new. So is Trillic looking as though he is appeased by this appreciation from this avatar of Shintea? Yeah, he's he's saying, you know, yeah, I I think we should take the gift. I think it would be suicide if we didn't. As much as I want to cut the wound that we've dealt open even more. <laughs> can Brassbutt reach Olsa? Can um like are we all floating there next to each other? Can he reach out and like touch her? Well, he said time was paused. So time was paused. Know. Yeah, so you guys can't really move. You're just kind of hovering. Okay. Um, are, you are you trying to get Olsa's input? Interacting. Yeah, I was trying because he's got one spell, one cure wounds left, and I was just gonna bring Olsa back so she can actually mm. talk and be part of this whole conversation. Uh, we'll say that this the spirit. Um, Enables communication for Olsa's input. Although, you know, it's kind of like a speak with the dead kind of spell. Yeah. Okay. And so the, the spirit of, of Olsa can, can speak temporarily. She uh, wants to see her enemies driven before her <laughs> and hear the lamentations of the women. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's what she wants, but... So she wants to keep going. Unless you have any objections, well, in my votes and taking the gift. Brassbutt would actually probably want to keep going, to be honest. Okay, Wilmot's you... neutral. He'd want to see it through. Oh, Jesus. So we have a tie, basically. <laughs> So, hold on. So, Brassbutt says, move forward. Olsa says, move forward. 
And we've got Torin saying take the gift. That still leaves Trillic and Wilmot. Wilmot's trying to remain neutral. Trillic's taking the gift, for sure. Okay, so two say take the <coughs> gift. Two are saying move forward, and Wilmot has to make the deciding vote. <laughs> the One who just got hit in the head by a cannonball. Yep, and he's, he's still like alive. Back and forth. Right. He's still that, alive. That, that's, His beak's no, on what, backwards. What you, see you know, like on the Daffy Duck, you know? Is what he's seeing is just this uh, cloudy, greenish yeah. Crap in his head. So there so, it is. Um, so I walk up to him and I go, "Well, Mitt, do you want to take the gift? The gift? <laughs> take, take the gift. There we go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and with that, the water shifts into a much more smooth feeling. There's a bright, warm uh, light felt. Everything goes dark for a moment. All right. Uh, you, you guys, let me fix the uh, map here. All right. All right, so everything goes dark for a moment. And you awaken with a start. You don't remember falling unconscious or even climbing out of the water. But the ground beneath you is hard as stone. The terrain around you is rocky and moss covered with the occasional exposed roots. The air is foggy and cool and you are soaked and wet. Olsa, give me a death save and then you guys tell me what you're doing. Well, that's a fucking cool looking place. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit better for the screen. Nope. Okay. Woo! Did you say we were wet? Yep. Uh, Brass Butt's immediately reaching over to Ulsa and okay. using his last spell to save her. Okay. Ten points healing. One spell left. Huh? All right. Wow. Go ahead and. Yeah, there you go. Boom! All right. Yes. I, I think I made. Was the 15 make it? Yep. Yeah, it does. Yep. All right, so you gain 10 hit points, Ulsa. All right. And she stands and, up. She's going, uh... Well, you, you think about standing up, but then you fall back over. Yeah, um, I have brass, exhaustion, too, still. Yes. Well, and you've got some other things going on. You're poisoned, right? All that stuff oh. that was, like, put on hold. Oh, yeah, I'm still high You're now. You're tripping? You're poisoned. You're just like, whoa. <laughs> You're a hot mess. You are. You are. <laughs> Starts um, muttering and... Yeah. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Torin and Brassbutt, while well, this is kind of going on, Torin and Brassbutt, you guys, you guys notice some, some... You see some movement off in the distance, right? So you can, like, see... This strange ground. You can see this strange skull-like thing over here, off in the distance, and then kind of off to your right, you see some you see some movement in the distance, about about fifty yards away. As Torin's picking himself up off the ground quietly to himself, he thanks Shatea and gets up, notices what you just mentioned, and is going to try to identify what he's seen. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you take a closer look. It um, it looks like a child yeah. uh, in raggedy commoner clothes, right? And uh, he's got dirt on his face. He's got a stick in his hand. He seems to be playing some sort of game. He's hitting rocks on the ground with a stick and occasionally kicking a protruding root. Are we in just a flat field? Uh, you see, or is it is there shrubbery and stuff? Yeah, there's roots. Well, it looks like shrubbery. trees in the distance. Yeah, in the smog and fog, fog. Yeah, some plant life. Wellman's going to struggling to live. Wellman's going to start limping towards the uh, the structure, the skull structure. Okay, I don't like it. Look at that statue. That's evil. 
Ugh. Had enough evil. <laughs> I'm tired. Is that, um... That bust image above the door actually there? Um, sure. But, uh... So, okay. Yeah, sure. Can I identify... Is it a god, or...? Um, give me a history check. I'll go ahead and throw out while he's doing that, throw out my dancing lights and start heading them that way, letting them lead. Okay. Oh, my you God. You throw out some yeah. dancing lights. The, the child off in the distance notices and starts walking towards you guys. Yeah, also starts ta chasing those lights. She's going to catch the fairy. <laughs> 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 Just gonna ride the fairy. Green fairy. <laughs> the child stops looking at the dancing lights. I lead them over back to us. He approaches. He gets about 20 feet from you guys. Uh, are you here for the devil? don't know who you're talking about. I take it the kid's speaking common? Yeah, you understand him. What town are we near? Uh, this this place is called the Shao. Others like you have come here to face the devil. They say he devours adventurers and that none can get his ancient treasure. They always enter somewhere over there. Any motions towards the, uh, towards that skull-shaped dome with three entrances? We well, are fully daring to play so close to such a horrifying place. Hmm. What kingdom do we, uh, does this lie in? What kingdom are we in? Oh, this, this place is called the Shao. Um, I, I take it our characters have never heard of it, like we all have never heard of never it. Never heard of it. You have no idea. Not even Braspa, does he have some skill or something, being a bard? Well, I guess that's my job to look. Yeah, you can take a look at this uh, character sheet if you want to roll something. I would say, um,. I mean, he doesn't have anything specific. History, you know, maybe? I just don't know if, you know. Oh, well, his history is a preferred skill. Okay. Yeah, you can try a history roll. Yeah. Sure. Oh! Same as me. <laughs> you guys have never heard of this place. And you guys are just soaking wet and tired and bruised and beaten. And... Wellmet's going to yeah, keep... Yeah, I just He's going to keep limping over to, like, the, the jaw area or something like that. He's not going <laughs> to go inside, but he's just... He's looking for some kind of shelter or something so that he can sit down against. Sure. Yeah. Torin's going to make his way around everyone, starting with himself, and use press digitation just to drive everybody off. Okay. Yeah, you all are dried. Um, also, it's like the best experience ever to so, get dried off while high. <laughs> oh, she's like dancing. Magically dried off. But she's very tired as well. And beat up. Well, mate, don't get too close there. What are you doing out here, child? playing you live near the village this place it's called the shao <laughs> are you here for uh, the devil first we need a rest our travels have been long can you take us to your village and then we shall meet this devil <sighs> I haven't been to the village in a long time why is that I like to play do you like to play? Okay, he's possessed. We need to kill him. Yeah, Trillic, uh, 
Torin definitely makes eye contact with Trilly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the devil? The devil. He is the devil. Crucify him. Wow, these good characters are going to murder a child in cold blood. <laughs> Why don't you just cut him up and wear his skin, dude? The devil. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Dance no around like an Aztec the... <laughs> right or something like that. <laughs> Jesus. The day, the um, direction the kid came from. There was there a, like a path in that direction. Uh, roll survival. Nope. Maybe I'll the number of the beast. <laughs> Man, how fitting. Dang you, tri Trillic, for rolling that six. Hey, hey, <laughs> I, I, I only rolled one. <laughs> I, I hope the audience is looking, you know, at this, at the chat window and the, the six, six, six. Are you here for the devil? <laughs> yeah. So you guys don't even take a rest. You just the kids just gonna kick sticks and yeah, hit rocks and stuff. I mean, I I prefer to find him. you are all exhausted, I'd, especially Olsa. I prefer to find the village, but worst case scenario, campfire. Yeah, things right don't here. seem right here. I don't I don't know if the village would even be. Uh, things don't seem right here. Who says the village isn't full of? ghosts or something he's the traumatized survivor or some shit yeah or undead i'm not getting a good vibe at this place at all where the hell did shantaya take us how do we know a shantaya the shall <laughs> away from maybe away that was the alarm maybe that was the one whole just total trick and we were on our way out to freedom that that thought actually yeah. crossed my mind <laughs> that would have been awesome i gotta remember that next time No, yeah, I say we just go off on the trees a little bit, gather some wood, and, and have a little camp, and just set watch, and have a nice good rest, because we're all beat. Okay. All right, yeah. so that that survival is for setting camp a little bit better than my last one, so. Okay. Let me uh, grab your tokens and drag them onto the screen here so you can click on them. That is a gnarly looking temple, though. Like a skull staring up. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Alright, there you guys go. Some tokens there so you can click your long rest. What's uh, This is no longer high. Not sure how long it lasts. Oh, let's see here. We will say that she's no longer poisoned or high. The last gift of Shantaya. And so that so was Shantaya then. Blue light, goddess, yeah, my moon, my moon pools. Yep. Yep. Cool. Oh, Braspa or Hans wasn't here. I know. I think he would. Because uh, he placed like that. Well, the third is certainly as a paladin of Shantaya. Okay. Will not believe it. So you guys, uh, you get some rest. Um, you know, you set watches and all of that. Um, Torin will take the awkward middle watch. Okay. And there's no no wild game, um, so you have to eat some rations if you got them, or chew on a yep. root. Okay, um, but yeah, you definitely feel better, feel refreshed. 
all healed up. Shit, brass butt. He only has three rations. What the hell? <laughs> now he's got two. Well, now he's got one. Who do you think's been eating the rest of his? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe he can create food and water with a spell or something. Not today. Hmm. All right. All right. So, yeah, you guys feel better? And, uh, yeah, you're sitting and or standing and stretching in front of this uh, very bizarre-looking temple. Did the kid ever do anything different, or is he just on, like, a loop playing? Mm, didn't notice the kid do anything different. Was he there all night? At some well, point, our, at our some night. point, you lost track of him, and you just kind of vanished. Village, devil. That's really the question. Do we want to poke this beast? I say the beast. Or do we want to go find out where the hell we are? Oh, there's something dangerous in the air. We might as well kill it. <laughs> if it's getting what's well, going to catch up to us anyway. I smell danger. Or I smell for danger. Okay. What do you guys want to do? I believe it holds a curse over the land, and if we get rid of it, then those at the village would certainly be... Um, uh, Released from the curse? Yeah, exactly. I say we go in. I would like to go in. See see what's... At least check it out. This time, Brass Butt doesn't want to go in. <laughs> <laughs> say, Brass Butt, you pussy. <laughs> He blows Torn, pipes. Torn will side with yeah, Torn will side with him and then it's up to Wilman. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have Trillic on my side now. And then it's just a matter of who runs up to Wilmet first and asks. Right. right. Repeat whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm feeling much better. I do some practice of stabs with my spear. Yeah. Yeah, you're feeling better. Let's go in. Let's explore this little little Go into the temple. temple of Shao. Okay. All right. Watch this kid turn into a monster. All right. Yeah, I do keep a side eye. Um, Trillic is definitely keeping a side eye on this kid because I don't like him. Unfortunately, Brassbutt has yeah, no Yeah, you're like, looking around. There's no sign spell. of the kid. There's like, okay. oh, weird. Okay. And then it looks like Olsa is heading there into the uh, center of the uh, middle entrance over there. Uh, Brassbutt's going to look for tracks. Can he tell where the kid took off? Did he, like, run into the temple or take off in the woods? Can he s find any tracks? Um, you can roll survival. Uh, nope. He's like, there's a, there's no sign of them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Brass butt head. <laughs> Yep. All right. So you guys. And we go. Uh, That's gonna and stay. lights leading the way, unless someone wants them out. Okay. All right. Move us to a new map. And I need to adjust. I'm just curious more than anything. I need to adjust the screen here. For brass butt. I'll make him the, uh... I mean, why would Shantaea send us to a weird place like this? And say it was safer. It's probably some ancient... Well, she never... She didn't guarantee it'd be safer. It'd just be far away. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't just, know if she really had a choice. Yeah, I mean, she was probably pretty limited on what she could do. I'm guessing it's just some old portal that's not in use anymore from the looks of it. Yeah. That, or like I said, this is Maylar behind everything. 
right. Now, did we emerge from a pool, or did we just wake up all of a sudden here? You. We just appeared, but we were wet. Yep. All right. So. You head into. You open up this door, ancient, ancient door into this temple. Bright, brilliant colors are to be seen everywhere. The stones and pigments undimmed by the passage of decades. The floor of the corridor is a colorful mosaic of stone with a distinct winding path of red tiles about two feet wide snaking its way south down the corridor. No stonework can be seen on the walls or the ceiling, which is about 20 feet above, for some sort of uh, cement or plaster has been smoothed over all of these surfaces and then illustrated. Does Wellmet recognize... <clears throat> of the patterns or any of the script because he doesn't forget <clears throat> things like that the scenes show fields with uh, animals grazing uh, you see several wolves in the background workers of various races and strange human animal mixtures like pig human ape human dog human going about various tasks. Certain of the frescoes showrooms of some building, you see the library filled with many books and scrolls, uh, the door of a torture chamber and a, a wizard's workroom, chairs and windows and boxes, bales and doors and chests and birds and bats and spiders and all manner of things are shown on the walls. Let's see, I'm going to give Prospect a bit more. Let's see here. I just want to check something. Let me zoom in. These squares seem to be... Why are these squares so tiny? Hang on. I'm going to try to fix something here. So it's pretty dark in there. Other than the dancing lights. Yeah, one second here. Because uh, also we'll start a torch. There we go. That's better. As well, because halflings, for whatever reason, can't see in the dark. Yeah. But you can do other stuff. All right, there we go. Let me fix his. Wellmet will follow this red line. He's kind of transfixed by it. Okay. Torn says, uh, it might be safer if you guys let me lead by a little over okay, 30 Okay, so Wellmet, I'm going to stop you. Put you right over there for a second. All right, so well met. You you take a step forward. Mm -hmm. You trigger a trap, and you you guys watch as Wilmot's like you know moving forward, ah! right as the ground beneath him falls away, and he falls down. <sighs> Can I try to grab his hand? Yeah, let's um, let's do this. Is there any kind let's of saving do, throw? I was going to say, no, you don't. You... So let's do this. Give me a dex check. Olsa, you see him starting to fall. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Did a dex save. Yeah, you, you with your light and fast reflexes, you manage to grab Wilmet as he's starting to fall. You grab him by the... the scruff of his neck <laughs> as he's falling down and, he, and so he crawls he back yep I'm like I no longer owe you my life 
<laughs> that was quick. The blood oath is, uh, has ended. Yeah, so let me just mark that hole. <laughs> Who's moving? Oh, Brass Butt jumped yeah. in the hole. Brass wow. Butt probably doesn't want to be there. Uh, Torn. You might want to check ahead. Is it a an illusionary floor? Is it, or is there a trapdoor? Torn's going to investigate it. Rule investigation. So is Wellmet. He'll probably suck at it, but. So it's pretty narrow in here. It's going to be tough for two people to investigate at the same time. So. Yeah. Did Did you see the hallway was two feet wide? The uh, uh, this is about five, ten feet wide. Okay. The red paint on the floor is two feet wide. Gotcha. And did that red paint lead to this pit? It looks like it. Can you guys see the red paint on the screen? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, so um, Torn's going to look for traps along the way and just make his way up the hallway doing that. Okay, go ahead and move your token into a square and let's see. Yeah, you roll investigation. So I will give you 10 feet, so we'll stop you there. You spot... You spot a, another trap door right directly in front of you. Okay, and does it look like um, does it look like the same thing, a pitfall? It does. And does it look like we can move diagonally here without succumbing to one or the other? Yes. Okay. So you do need to give so, another investigation check. Um, before he moves, he's going to pull a piece of chalk and just mark, like with a line, okay. the beginning of that trap. Okay. Yep, you can do that easy. And then another investigation. Okay. You spot... Look at that. Torn. Being a good thief. Oops, I didn't want yellow. That's all right. I want red to make it easier to see. Another pit. Kind of right in the center. Yep, right in the center. Torin's going to actually... I mean, he's going to check the whole hallway as if it's, you know, one hallway. He's looking for traps. That's what he's doing. But as he does, he's going to follow this red line. Okay. So, again, another 10 feet. We'll slip by that one, marking it before we get past it. Okay. okay. And I'm assuming I'm assuming at 10 feet there, then, I need another investigation? Yep. Ooh. Crit. Yeah, I'm going to say you spot another pit trap here and you also spot another one here nice okay so mark the one closest and we'll continue to move past not gonna really be able to follow the red line at this point mm -hmm. mark that one and then continue on not going to get overconfident and uh, okay. keep looking until we get out of this hallway and probably beyond. Okay. Give me one second here. It's a pretty heavily laden hallway. Yeah. As you, as you make your way point down, point. you can see that there's some sort of... Um, some sort of sculpture on the wall at the far end, and then there's a door going to or doorway going towards the um, going towards the east, I guess. So on the wall before you is a relief sculpture of a devil uh, formed of mosaic tiles. The 
face has a huge O of a mouth, inside of which the space is dead black. Can you send one of your orbs in there? Yep. Put your hand in it. Nope. <laughs> After you, also. Yeah, I throw one of my dancing lights in there. Okay. Let's see here. Shoots flame 30 feet down the hallway. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Oh, that was also, <laughs> I thought that was the GM. <laughs> I knew that would freak you out. All right, you send in the dancing lights, and they vanish. And it is dark. Okay. I recast it. Okay. <clears throat> it's cursed. No light can enter. Torin is going to stand just a little bit off to the side, kind of in front of it, but a little bit off to the side, and shoot a hand crossbow bolt into the mouth. Okay. Roll an attack. Just want to see if you do, make sure you don't fumble. I want to see if you hit the hole. Well, the hole's pretty big. Oh yeah, easy. Vanishes. Any kind of sound? Like, does it sound like it hits anything or? Uh, roll perception. <sighs> totally silent. Wow. Moon this pool? The... Moon this... pool. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we changed our mind. Um... <laughs> well, now we got some rest. Can't we jump into that pool again? Is go this back. an opening or a doorway or on the end here? Is this a corridor or an opening? Yes, that is a uh, open, open, oops. Doorway. Is the rest of this hallway safe, Torn? Uh, I have not heard yet. I mean, I have uh, not fully investigated yet. Keep the hot dice going. Safe as houses. <laughs> yes, it's fine. <laughs> Wilma's well, well, going to try butt. sticking you know. his his spear into the uh, the mouth of this thing just a little bit, and then pull it back out. The spearhead is gone. It you just know. removes it? <laughs> you have a staff now. <laughs> I hope that wasn't your plus one sphere. <laughs> it is now a plus one staff. <laughs> he gets pissed. He just chucks the rest of it in there. Okay. I Oof. imagine the look on this bird's face. <laughs> what the fuck? What'd you do that for? He's spitting worms. <laughs> Why would you treat your weapon like a common tool? <laughs> well, <Wellmet. laughs> <coughs> Goodbye, magic weapon. Do you, uh, uh, I don't have a magic spear. Do you have another uh, at least? What's that? I was talking to Wellmet. Do you have another spear? <laughs> <laughs> He, I've I've seen him fight. He doesn't need it. All right. Yeah, he hasn't been using his spear to fight that much uh, when the murder machines appeared. So Torin's going to change his focus into this hallway entrance, whatever this is. All right. <clears throat> look look for traps. You know, roguely duties. The hell is that thing like? That hurt. So what's going on? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this. All right, the stone archway before you is filled with a veil of thick vapors. The stones on either side of the base and the keystone protrude slightly from the stones around them. As you move to within touching distance, the left hand oh. base stone begins to glow yellow. The right-hand base stone, orange. 
and the keystone seven feet above is blue. So we'll say you see that before you walk into this space. That's around the door? Yes, that's around the stone archway that goes into this area. Right here, right? Yep. So you need to move back, Torin. <laughs> yeah, Torin does step back. <clears throat> and he's going to pull out a... Um, he's going to pull out one of his pittens and some string and tie the string to the pitten and throw it through the doorway, holding onto one end of the string. Okay. Toss is probably a more accurate term. Okay, so you're going to tie some string around something and toss it in. A pitten, yeah, you know, like a climbing yep. nail. All right, so you, you tie some string around that. You toss it in, and it vanishes. All of the string vanishes, and the pitten vanishes. The, even the, the bit of the string that I was holding in my hand and all yep. goes away? Yep, what you were holding onto in your hand... Hmm. Disappears okay. the moment it touches the the veil. Oh man! Oh man! Um, Trillic, can you locate object? No. Can you scry? No. Can you? Uh, can I touch? Scrying, the... scrying wouldn't work. Well, anyway, can you touch these colored bricks? Are they within touching distance? Uh, one is seven feet high. But but yeah, they are all within touching distance. They are different colors. Yellow, orange, and blue are the three colors. So, no, also, you yourself cannot touch all of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I start jumping with my hand. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Is, is, I'm all trillic. Is she hallucinating trillic. again? Come, come touch this thing. <laughs> I touch it. The top one. All right, the top one is what? Blue? Blue. It is blue. The top one was blue. Okay, it glows a little bit brighter for a second. Anything change in there? Torn, anything change? Does the smoke smoke change at all? Yeah, I, I assume you didn't you didn't walk in. You're not actually inside the No, scene. no. Yeah. No, he's mm -hmm. yeah, on the edge. Yeah. And I'm holding on to it. I didn't let go. I'm like touching it. I'm not taking my hand off. Nothing changes. Okay. It, and and well med anything in the hole? Like, does the hole change? Does the hallway change? <laughs> I, I, look in the, I look in the hole. <laughs> Put your hand in there, Felmet. I dare you. Don't Pop do that. Pop off a bird. feather and stick it in there. Pull it out. You you pull it out, but there's no feather. It's just a little nub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I let go of the blue one. I touch the yellow one. Okay, you touch the yellow one. It lights up for a moment. So does the light go out even if I leave my hand on it? The lights never go out. They glow. But when They're, you touch I, them, they go a little bit brighter for a second. Just for even... Okay. Just for a second. And then so I'm going to touch the, the blue one. and the yellow together. Okay, you touch the blue and the yellow together. They go bright for just a second. I poke my head around the corner. I look at Torrin. Can we move the no, brick? No difference. No difference. Nothing. Can you pull the brick out? No. I'm. I. Well, I, I have a suspicion, but I have no real evidence or proof. But I, I think this is just a portation portal. I'm gonna and look those, at those. Those lights might indicate different ways to go. Kind of my thoughts. Anything what, on the murals what, what, depicting I, these colors? Um, roll investigation. You said there is yellow, blue, and what? Uh, orange. Yellow, orange, and blue. Blue being the one up high. 
Wolf's just gonna look along the walls too. Second one is brass butt. Yeah, you you investigate. You, you see those colors. There's but there's lots of colors in this in the mural. But like, do they depict like a building or a scene or anything that would connect? Like this brick would go to this kind of thing, and this brick would go to this kind of thing. Like any connection. Other door. No door. What other door? This, this is the only door. Mm -mm. Other other entrance. Other door. This was it, wasn't it? Well, the outside picture showed three like different openings. I don't know if they all like congregated to one or what. Well, we can try this one. Do you want to think it teleports, or do, we, do you just die? The only the only indication that I have of any kind of connection here is possibly yellow and orange to make red because of the red path stripe along the pathway. So I'll touch yellow and orange at the same time. They light up momentarily. Torin's going to step flash. through. Right, Torin, I'm like Torin vanishes. I like. Okay, let's go to the village. <laughs> All right. Torin <laughs> so he... vanishes. And let's see. No screen. No nothing. Just dust. Let's see. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Well, it just pivots around. Hang starts on. walking out. I got to zoom out my map here. Also walks through. Hold on. I was honestly, before Torrin said that, I was honestly thinking of, well, maybe now we should go to the village and see if we can get some more information about this place <laughs> before jumping into some unknown who knows what. <laughs> All, right. All right, so Torrin, you vanish as you step into the miss there. Uh, this, this miserable cubicle, five foot by five foot, appears to have absolutely no means of egress. There are three iron levers, each about one foot long, protrude from the south wall of the chamber. So there's no shimmering cloud portal behind me. There is not. You have just appeared in this five foot by five foot room. Who the fuck designs cell on this shit? Spaceship. You're in a cell on a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, it's going to follow him then. The levers can be moved horizontally, vertically, singly, singularly, or in combination. Hey, it's a Willy Wonka elevator. A little bit. <laughs> Shit. And and this room is basically just big enough to house me and the lepers? Yep. Like, if anybody else were to try oh, to follow yeah. me in, it probably wouldn't happen. Do you not have a source of light? Uh, I've got dark vision. Okay, yeah, so you can see the room, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to investigate the room. Roll investigation. All right. Okay. Let's see. You you investigate this room. You can see that you've got these three iron levers that can move, like I said, horizontally or vertically. Uh, you can do different combinations with them. And you find a secret door to the north. Appears to be a crawl space with uh, no means of, of opening it. It's totally smooth on your side. We can definitely see the outline of this crawl space. Did also go to his same spot. She was going to follow him. Wait, Ulsa goes in there too? Yeah. Alright, Ulsa. 
you land on top of Torin. Torin, you feel this really heavy weight on your back as you're trying to investigate this little this little crawl space, and suddenly, oof! And now you're now both small. crammed into this five foot by five foot space. Get off! Get off! Get off! Ha! <laughs> uh-huh. I dodge around him. <laughs> you try to dodge and bang against the wall and dodge this way. You bang against the wall. Maybe go this way. Bang against the wall. My halfway nimbleness. Yep. <laughs> You're so nimble right into the wall. Uh, I guess we'll get situated. And. Want to pull a lever? Uh, there's the secret passage here. Left but lever. Hmm. You pull one lever? <laughs> Yeah, up or down, left or right? Down. That's all I could reach. Pull one, down. <laughs> Nothing happens. From its what down position, can it go left or right as well? No, it's like uh, kind of like a joystick, right? Hmm. So you can go down, left, right, something like that. Okay. They all just kind of move like that. So uh, what'd you say? There, go ahead. There's that secret door, but no way to get through it, right? Mm hmm. I'm going to pull the second lever down. Okay. So two of them are down. Okay. Um, you pull the second one down, All right? Now two of them are down, one is in the center. Hold your breath, and I put the third one down. Pull the third one down. The crawl space door opens up to the north. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Halfling luck. <laughs> gonna have to use the crawl space. Gonna gonna also keep my eyes out for any kind of traps along the way. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. Uh. Excellent. Uh, you crawl forward about seven feet and the passageway makes a 90 degree turn to the right but right up above you you spot a secret door and you also see the passage continuing on to the right hmm uh can i open the secret door you know i check for traps see if we can open it Mm mm-hmm yeah, it's kind of like a like a plug, basically. Yeah. Okay. Hold your breath. Open it. Okay. All right. Uh, it opens up into what looks like a room up above. Okay. Can I see anybody in the room? All right, so you from from down below, you don't see anything. I still have my torch out, by the way. Okay, oh. your ass is getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thickness of the floor and the the floor that we're actually crawling on. If I were to move forward in this in this crawl space, mm-hmm. and also were to stand up, could she see into the room? Or would she still be too short for that? How tall is Olsa? Three and a half feet. Four feet. Um, She's a little bit taller than your average halfling. The, uh, if I recall correctly. Yeah. What's the height? Is it that? Oh, my. Bio? I would say maybe. Maybe she should give it a shot. She does. That she was four foot two. We're making her just slightly taller. Okay. Uh, looks like her head would uh, protrude above the opening. Have a look, but try to be as subtle as possible. Oh, crawl, I got to crawl I gotta, forward. Uh, I got to put a torch up through it first, and then put my head up slightly. All right. So, so you're gonna have to crawl <laughs> out, right? Torin crawls out. Olsa crawls in through this three-foot-wide crawl space. You go forward about seven feet and 
take your torch and stick it up the hole and you pop your head up. All right. So much for subtlety. <laughs> so much for Ulta. Her head will be removed. <laughs> All right. Need to... That's how Torin works. <laughs> <laughs> Make the other person. <laughs> right. Yeah, it looks fine. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so let's do... How do we get the other people over here? Hang on. I'm going to... Hopefully they'll be smart enough to follow. Or dumb enough. We'll I, I, yeah, I was going to say it. I'll hold that down for now. <laughs> A five foot fight by five foot space and you've got eight foot dragonborn yeah that's gonna be tight as soon as we see a big old fat unprotected pile of gold in this these guys are going to be like a hot flash on a on an old woman through the that gate <laughs> their dragon nature takes over all right I'm trying to get your vision going Like, Torin, there's some chests up here. There's like all this magical gear. It looks like a ring of invisibility, a cloak of hiding. <laughs> she's like, Torin, there's some chests up here. And then she crouches <laughs> down. She's holding her breasts. <laughs> uh, I got it now. <laughs> Hang on here. I can't see anything. trying to adjust the lighting on here. All right. So, also... You pop your head up, and you see a 15 by 15 foot room. And you see three large chests in this room. A chest... Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Oh, there you Whoa. go. Once you move, there it goes. Oh, wait for Torn. I said, Torn, come over here. Torn will crawl back and try to help prop her up through the hole. I mean, if she needs it, otherwise, climb up. Okay, I'm sure she can jump up there. She's pretty strong and nimble. Look at this. Think it's safe. Torn will also go up through the hole into the room. Okay. Um, he's going to cast Detect Magic. All right. You cast... Detect magic. Yeah, you you detect magic all over. In other words, the room's kind of saturated with it, and I can't really identify where it's coming from. Yeah, the chess floor of the whole room seems magical. A am I seeing them independently, like the chests are radiating magic, like definitely radiating magic... The room's radiating magic. Yes. Okay. Um, can I help him when he investigates? Like, just uh, give him an assist. Of doing what? Well, when, during investigation, can I help, or do I have to make it an independent role? If someone is going to do an like investigate or any kind of skill check, you can say, "Hey, I will assist." Right. And then that would give the person with advantage. Okay, I'll do that for Torn. For when okay. When, whenever do, he starts investigating the tests. Do all three chests look the same? So, one, one chest appears to be made out of gold, one is a silver, and one appears to be made out of oak. Gold! Made now, out of gold. Now, as you guys solid. are doing this, Trillic and Wilmet, you guys have been waiting a long time. 
And Brass? Yeah, Brass Nut's going in, which is going to make Trillic chase him. Okay. All right. <laughs> lost <laughs> patience, and, and right on his heels is going to be Trillic. Brother, what are you doing? Well, my here's brother, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wilmot freaked the fuck out because every time something enters in one of these holes, it gets disintegrated. <laughs> well, and and the brass with the disintegration hole. And two brothers, two rather large brothers, are going to enter a room made for one. Well, this one's kind of big. <laughs> Once they get here, um, what is going on? Did well met use the glory hole of disintegration? I don't know what Wellmet's doing. Uh fuck. Wellmet well uh, <laughs> He's like Yeah, he I, doesn't I, have I, much <laughs> choice. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. All right, he'll he'll try going in the swirling mist. All right, boom. Get up in this little closet. You, you see the crawl space? Fuck. Crammed in there, all three of you. I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. I point to Toron. Let's open that gold one. That's not look cool. Yeah, but that might be what they want us to do. What Let's... three? What are they? What did we walk into? This is like a chest area. Yeah are three chests. One right. is made of gold, one is made of silver, and one is made of oak. Open the oak one. All three of them radiate magic as well as the room itself. Okay. So you go over there and you open up the oak one. Wilmot's going to go get in the hole. <laughs> he run, dives across. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, <laughs> so you jump in the hole. All right, there's a bright flash. Down. Okay. As a giant skeleton suddenly appears in the room near the oak chest and immediately gets one attack with a scimitar at Trillic before going into initiative. Oh, so you weren't suggesting, you were actually doing. He said, open the oak chest. He said, I open the oak chest. Is that right, Trillic? I think so. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> they have. I heard, I heard he opens, I was like, what? What's going on know. here? I'm going to find out what that... Well, you get hit, find AC-23, that, uh, 16 slashing. I want to find out what that poison does. I'm going to take one of the uh, crossbow bolts and stick it in his ass. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> oh, ouch. He, got, he did 16 damage? Mm-hmm. He did. Shit. Indeed. All right. Olsa, you get to go first. Giant skeleton has just appeared. Oh, she's going to drive forward and attack it twice. She going to go all ballistic? With one monster? I don't think so. She can control it sometimes. Uh, would she get advantage at this point? Uh, sure. Then uh, AC 16. Miss. Well, I mean, the thing's surrounded. You'd get advantage just from us being around it. Uh, AC 22. That's a hit. Oh, I had rage on. So 10, 10 damage or the rage. Okay. Ten damage. Turn on this little meter. Okay. All right. Anything else? Oh, that's all she can do. Torin. 
Torrent's gonna uh, cast Sword Burst, I believe. Because it looks like everybody is outside of its radius except for the monster. Alright, so range is self. Each creature within range. Uh, you create a momentary circle of spectral blades that sweep around you. All creatures within five feet of you must succeed a saving throw. So that would be basically these squares. Oops. So what, you're going to die for? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see you hitting that skeleton. He looks like he's about seven feet away. Uh, with that token, I thought he was spilling into that five-foot area. And the I, I wouldn't use it if I was going to hit any of my allies. It's a pretty if small room. Move, if I have to, yeah, I know. If I have to move a little bit forward, I will. Otherwise, um, I'll just stick it with my sword. Yeah, you'd have to move forward a little bit. I'll just stick it with my sword. Okay. 25 to hit. That is a hit. For 17. Why is that red? Uh, you rolled one one or something. Yeah, you rolled a one. Hmm. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Brass butt. Uh, well, he's just going to swing at it with his rapier. Okay. Or stab at it. That's a hit. I'm not sure if it's going to do anything, but that's what he's going to do. Okay. All right. Let's go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Brass butt. Pulsa. All right. He's going to do one attack at each of you. So oh, he's oh, going crap. to, he swings his, he does this, you see this skeleton, he's got this fancy, I don't know, sword, and he's just swinging it around like some sort of professional swordsman going into this bizarre, like, dance with this scimitar. And he, he attacks Brass Butt, AC 11. He attacks Ulsa, AC 11. And then, oh, AC 24 against Trillic. For 11 slashing. Ouch. Yep. And now that takes us to Wilmot, who is hiding down in the hole. Wilmot jumps up out of the hole. Well. Kicks off, kicks, kicks off the wall and then flies over and does like one of those upside down soccer kick. Well, what, what he does is he crawls skills. at half speed <laughs> to get to the hole. Then he spends half well, of his I'm, movement I'm standing, standing up. I, I'm standing in the hole. Nope, the hole is there. You are back in the chamber. The hole is oh. in, the room, in the floor. Okay. So you're crawling. Sure. Then you're going to stand double up. Move, half, half movement. Half movement to stand up. And okay. then, so what is that, like... 510, so, and then you got to cut your movement in half of 50 down to 20, so that leaves. Oh, what is that? Tw let's see, 55 cut in half would be 25. We're just going to call it 25. 15. And feet? then you're going to subtract. Hold on. Take 25, then you're going to subtract the stinking uh, double movement of 510. No, 5, making it 10, leaving you with 15 movement. When you stand up, so I'll go there and I'll and I'll uh, try to soccer kick him in the jaw. All right, go for it. All right, that is a hit, and then I'm gonna do it again. Okay, and another hit. Okay. The beauty of the monk. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. And I'm going to do it again. Trillic. <laughs> ah. 
Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Trillick? Fireball. Oh, he's good. It's gonna fucking Ooh, rain hit. him again. Eighteen. There you oh, go. critical hit. Oh, Look plus your charisma, right? right? Uh, twenty total. No, twenty-two. Wow, Trillick's like fuck you. Boom. All right. Boom. You hit him with some fire. All right. Initiative. Things big, huh? Yeah. He is. Holy crap. All right. Also. I'll swing twice. 18. 18 is a hit. Uh, 10 Pearson. Okay. 22 hit. Hit. And 8. Okay. Alright, Wilmot. Does this thing look um, haggard or at all? Have we been, like, breaking bones off of it? Is it looking... It looks undead. So we can't tell. It's just going ape shit still, huh? Well, two more punches. A hit, and he crumbles. <laughs> he was a pile of bones before, and now he's a pile of bones after. The Wellmet goes and Wellmet goes and jumps in the hole. Uh, brass buttles search the skeleton. Okay. Is there anything in the open chest? Let's see. Nice. The skeleton has a scimitar on him and nothing else. Uh, inside the inside the chest uh, this one's empty. Damn it! Uh, Check the uh, bottom. Check the bottom. Uh, it. You try to check the bottom. Like, how are you checking the bottom? Like, what do you mean? The bottom of the chest might mean something different to you than to me. Stab the bottom with my spear to make sure it's not false or hollow or anything. Roll investigation. Does not appear to be a false bottom, and the chest is firmly affixed to the floor. Do you need any healing? Sure. Took some nasty wounds. Uh, I'm okay for now. Torin's gonna investigate the gold chest. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation on the gold chest. And uh, does, also we'll take, does not appear to be trapped or locked. Uh, also, we'll take this uh, scimitar. All right. Strap it on the back. You take a scimitar and strap it to your back. A scimitar wielded by a giant skeleton. It's about as big as you are. Or yeah, that's why it's on its back. I'm just carrying it party treasure this one looks fine do you want to open it Torn's going to go over to the silver one as if he's getting ready to investigate that one while mister I open a you know, chest uh, <laughs> also, decides if he's going to open the gold one <laughs> also we'll check it over one time before she opens it just because she's like not trusting okay um, before she opens it, oh, never mind. <laughs> no, she's gonna open it. She's like, "Oh, it's safe." Two of us looked at it. It's gotta be safe. <laughs> Torn instantly goes on guard when the chest opens. Okay, yeah. Um, does not appear to be trapped or locked. You open the gold chest. Uh, it is also empty. 
I'll look in the bottom. No poofers? All right. You go Stat. to search the bottom. And some snakes slither out and attack. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, how come they didn't... Oh, what am I clicking on? I love this shit. There it goes. Torin. Oh, I should probably move that over so we can see the battle order. All right, you attack the slithering snakes as the swarm comes out of there. Uh, that is a hit. All right. Sorry, for, uh, Jeremy, I rolled a 17 for initiative. All right, let's see. Anything else? No, that's it for my turn. Also. Well, stab at this dang little beasties. Okay, go for it. Uh, AC 12, or do we have advantage or not? Um, sure. Uh, AC 20. Hit. For six points. Okay. Uh... AC 25. Hit. Eight points. Okay. Are these just normal looking snakes? Uh, you are hiding in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These guys are going to attack uh, either Trillic or Ulsa. And. Let's see. Or it could be Torrin. Torrin's within five feet, too. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Torrin. All right. Snakes attack. Torrin. The swarm of, of disgusting looking snakes. AC 17. Hits. Nine piercing. <clears throat> Which and we make... will take to four because of evasion. And then uh, saving throw, constitution saving throw. Oh, failed. Damn. So you're going to take 20 poison. Oh. <sighs> Brutal. Brutal. Oh, what a time to fail a save. Okay. All right. It doesn't say you take the poison condition, so at least you got that going for you. Well met. He's going to pop up again. Okay. And mash some snakes. Okay. Man, I want that fumble, but I'm going to give you the 20. Mash, mash. Okay. Is there still a lot of snakes slithering around? There are. I'm going to use a key point and do flurry of blows. Okay. Spend your key point and flurry of blows for two, two more. more unarmed attacks. Okay. Okay. 
you punch out some more snakes. All right. Anything That's else? a lot of snakes. Yeah. It's a big swarm of them. That's a lot of farmers worth of snakes. All right, brass butt. Why would a chamber be secreted away and then have monsters with nothing in it? It's got to be something here. The be. devil. The devil. What's brass butt going to do? Attack, I imagine. I don't know. Yeah, um, I'm just reading the spell. I'm don't. I don't play a bard, so. I... <laughs> uh... He usually gives that um, bonus action something. I'm thinking. Uh... Of oh that. shit! Cloud of daggers. God damn. All right. Uh, you fill the air with spinning daggers in a cube, five feet, centered on a point you choose. Creatures take forty-four slashing. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't do any damage right away. The creature takes 44 slashing. So entering it when it enters the spell area. appearing around it. <laughs> yeah, so it's so it when it enters the spell area for the first time or when it starts its turn there. So it won't it won't take damage till the start of its next turn. All right. Well, he's doing that on it, on them. All right. Okay, let's see here. And... Okay, and then what's Trillet going to do? Uh, Firebolt. He's not going to waste slots. Okay. 18. AC yeah, 18 no. is a hit. No, AC 16, 18 damage. I was getting our cloud of daggers in there. <clears throat> uh, all right, how much damage? 18? It is dead. You burn him up. Torn's going to take this moment and look around the room. Are, the, are there just walls or or is there a door? Let's see. I want to do a bit of an investigation on this room. Let's wait on the last chest, people. <laughs> well, after after the daggers dissipate, I'm going to look in the bottom where all the snakes came. Brassbutt already had his hands on the chest. He looks up at Torin. Uh huh? <laughs> no. I think an opening is going to appear when we open the last chest. Let's see. Or open them in the right combination. Uh, let's see. Oh, all right. Wait, what were the colors? Crap. Yellow, Gold. orange, and blue. Okay. So nothing what? yellow oh, on the left. Okay. You find a concealed door over here to the north. Still gotta see what's in the chest. And does it look like? I mean, it. Can you figure out <clears throat> any way to open it? Yes. It looks like okay. another crawl space. Okay. He'll open it. Okay, it's a crawl space. So, do we want to deal with the last chest or just move on? Chest. You really think there's going to be something in there other than something to fight? Also, do it, Trillic, now. <laughs> oh, that <was> really funny. <laughs> I'm curious what's in this silver one. There's got to be something good. I looked down. <clears throat> uh, there was nothing else in that bottom area. Nope, nothing. There's got to be something good here. The whole area is magical. Our, our chat has already told us to stop touching things. 
<laughs> uh, I, I yeah. Let's just move to the next room. I want to investigate and just see if there's any traps on this. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> she just can't let it be. It looks totally it. totally safe. The I'm question is, right, whose ass it. is half hanging out of the crawl space when this happens? Yeah. You guys are all like, yeah, hey, let's go to the crawl space over here. And Olsa's like, fuck that. And uh, she goes over and she's like, look, it's totally safe. And she flips it open. All right. Inside the silver chest, you see a clear crystal box that appears to be holding a ring. <laughs> At the sound of that, Wellmet backs up. <laughs> well, hey, there's, there's, look at this powerful magical item that Close Olsa it. found. Close it. Yeah, yeah, the sound of the creek, uh, Torn. It looks guard. safe to me. You guys sure? Like, this looks good to me. Dude, if you put on an unknown magic item, I'm I not will putting it on. Put you in that chest <laughs> and punt you through that hole. I'm not putting it on. I'm just saying we. Like this is we've went through all of this. There's a it's like deja vu. I'm not gonna put it on. <laughs> well, does, I just tell him that there's a ring here that looks does, powerful. Do you guys want to check it out? You you had said with the tech magic, all the chests glowed. Yeah. Does this look like the source of this chest's glow, or does the chest also glow independently of this? You cannot use detect magic to in the way that you're thinking of. Everything in here is glowing. Okay. The ring is glowing. So it's all, the case it's is all just one shade of glow. There's no tonality between them. Correct. Meh. It looks like a perfectly safe ring to me. Magic in your world sucks. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's the way it is, man. Well, Ulsa's not just going to grab it, but she's not that wise either. So what is she going to do? Well, she's going to tell everyone there's a ring over here. What should we do, guys? Isn't she a barbarian? Isn't she not supposed to like magic or something like that? That's a first edition, I guess. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm going to keep going. I want nothing to do with this ring. Nothing good can come of this ring. Are you sure? We could I it. am, but I don't speak for everyone. I'm not touching it, and I'm prepared I, to, to, to... I'm like, Torin, this could be worth a lot of money. My, I, I've got magic blindness at this point. My detect magic sees everything glowing. Well, should we grab it or not, guys? Well, you're not going to just leave it there, are you? The, the magic's so bright you have to wear shades. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it seems stupid to find a magic item that we've been searching for. The first nice, magic item nice. we've seen, and we're just going to leave it? After opening all these chests? Yeah, I mean, we're going to be dumb on two, on two fronts. We're going to be dumb because we're going to touch it. And we're going to be dumb because we don't want to touch it. Yeah. There's no um, good. We, just go. There's no strange pole that's telling a, us. It could be a ring of protection or something. Yeah, it could help us out. Why? Why would it? No. That makes no sense. Everything else was a trap, a guard thing of some kind. Puzzle. <laughs> well, you have to I just, don't think we've reached to... the end of the maze. You have to sleep with the ring or whatever to see what it is, right? That's one way of identifying. Then you go do that. Olsen's going to grab it. Okay, so it's inside the case. So you reach down and you grab the case, start pulling it out. Uh, You set off a trap. And let's see. (laughs) Trillick eats the brunt of it. (laughs) Oh, no, I no, thought he had uh, left the room. Sorry, I thought he had left the room. Yeah, I, technically, I did announce that a long time ago. And so as you're pulling it out, three darts come shooting upwards out of the out of the box. And let's see. Right into your forehead. <laughs> She's curious. They hit AC 18 and above on all three of them. This, yeah, this time, cool. Wellmit grabs her by the scruff. <laughs> you take you take three damage from each one, so a total of nine damage. 
and you take and out the, you take out the very fine looking crystal box. Okay, put it in my satchel. Okay, the, the the ring the ring is inside the box, and you just put the whole thing in there in your bag. Yep. Hold on, don't drop it. It's glass or crystal or something. Cool. You pull it's the a, you pull the darts out. Transformed yep. rot grub or something like that, and you're gonna fucking roll over on Are it and break the thing. And it's just... No, I didn't have to roll anything. Not poisoned. She just got hit with some darts. Both is tough. It just she just ripped him out of her arm. She's like, <laughs> it's a ring of gender swap. So the the I don't think crawl it space so ended right. There's nothing more to the crawl space down here. There is because it it turned to the it turned to the right. But you guys, oh, that's went, right. you guys went keep up. going. Uh, Torin's going to call into the crawl space and said, you know, you should probably let me go first. Yep. Okay. Through the concealed door or through the other crawl space? Yeah, we have the two different options. Through here, I say. I kind of feel the same. Hang on one second here. Let's see where this is. Make sure I understand where this is going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you crawl into the crawl space. Uh, it goes forward. It's still about three feet wide. It goes forward about five, ten, fifteen feet. Torn's going to be looking for traps. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. Looks fine. Safe as houses. What happens after 15 feet? All right, so you go 5, 10, 15, and uh, it's a dead end. Well, uh, I'm going to look for any secret roll doorways or anything like that. Yeah, roll investigation. 14? Yes. You find another concealed doorway. I'm going to try to give myself the um, view from, from your character's point of view. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, you find another little concealed door and you find a way to open it up. Okay, yep, yeah, pop it open. Cautiously poke my head through. Okay, let's take a look at this room. All right. <clears throat> Uh, this floor, so it opens up in this long hallway. The floor is made of, it has these in, is it inlaid tiles. Uh, the walls and ceilings are all painted with different figures and signs and stuff. Um, there are several globes that you see. Let's see here. It's the this hallway looks similar to the way you came in right mm -hmm. with like the the paintings and mosaics and stuff that were all over the walls and stuff in here um just missing did the you just path. crawl out of the hole of that one and now we're like shrunk super small no idea alice hmm. and there was that whole port never mind and then you've got these, but in this one, you've got these, um, let's see. On the board? south side, there is a, which is close to where you are, 
So down here. Let me. There we go. Mm -hmm. So down here, you can see that there's this archway. And it is also filled with cloudy vapors that block vision. This place is wackadoodle. And hold on, brass butt. What are you doing over there? <laughs> you stop messing around. I can't tell where the openings are. I, I'm just yeah. randomly I trying to. Hang on, I'm going to have to turn that on so you don't block your movement. So I can't tell when it turns left, right, or forward. There you go. All right, so Trillic, Wilmet, what are you doing? You going in the passage? Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Now, and then there's, like I said, there's that archway that's down below, and then you've got these uh, spheres. I can't get out. Oh, no. What? Are you stuck? <laughs> Who's going where? No. Shit. What are you, where are you trying to go? <laughs> I can't go back out of the room. We're stuck in the room. We're going to die in here. <laughs> yeah. The um, I, Whoever's going into the room, just tell me. I'll move your tokens over. Brass butt, could you hit me with uh, some healing? I'll, I'll go into the room. Okay. I play him a soothing tune on my bagpipes. Okay. Oh, it's not soothing at all. It's horrible. What are all of these orbs? Yeah, so you see, um, like I said, it's similar to where you guys entered. The floor is made of these inlaid tiles, and the walls and the ceiling are painted with figures of animals and strange signs, uh, humans and human-like creatures, and they're all posing with spheres of different colors. Uh, these, these globes are uh, two-dimensional. Hmm. Also going. What's that? Also go in the room too. Okay. What what's two dimensional? The orbs that they're holding in the mosaics. Oh, okay. But there's other orbs on in the hallway though, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking okay. about. And then you've got um what look like some doors up to the north. And then you've got the archway with the Veiled smokiness down to the south. Which way? Did we came in through the side here? Yeah, I'll just mark it over here. Let's see here. I'll mark it in blue. I guess Trillic will go in. Everyone else did. Does that archway also have the three colored gems, orbs? Like the first one we went through? Um... As you're going to go get closer and investigate and look and see. Nothing's going on it right now, but nothing was going on the other one. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be checking for traps. We need to make sure this hallway's safe. Roll investigation. Mm -hmm. okay. All looks good between you and the archway. So I'll get close enough to answer the question as you come close three stones in the archway in front of you begin to glow the left hand base stone shines with an olive hue the one on the right glows citron and the keystone seven feet overhead gives off a russet light russet potato light yep can you can you light. repeat that olive olive citron russet Olive left, citron right, russet above. And what was the end of this one? Was there any like hallway or these doors right here? Say that again. Were these doors these kind of extended things? Yeah. Yes. Let's go check out the doors, guys. Do the, the um, orbs, do they match any of the colors that are on the archway? Mm. You see gold, orange, 
purple, bronze, gray, blue, white, turquoise, scarlet, green, indigo, red, black, pink, yellow, green, silver, blue. So the full spectrum. And and the murals, they're the same, just random everything murals on the wall. Yeah. Is that correct? Uh, Torrin will go ahead and make his way up the hallway and check for traps as he goes. Roll investigation. Save his houses. He'll get up to the first door, hopefully, and check that out for traps. Okay. Rule investigation. Okay. Um, this door appears trapped. Can I disarm said trap? With thieves' tools, you can make an attempt at it. Uh oh. Is the smell coming back? Wow. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you believe you jammed I, the mechanism? I think I did that right. Um, I did thieves' tools, and I added my dexterity to it. Um, your thieves tools automatically does your thing. Oh, does it? Yeah, you don't have to modify it at all. You just click it. Okay. But it didn't matter. Oh, it was a natural twenty. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a it was a natural twenty. Okay. <clears throat> um, can I open the door? Should we should we do this door or do we want to do the other one? I think I've got the trap that was here. Dismantled. I'll open it. Okay. This you, door. You open the door. It, it appears to be a false door, and you've managed to jam a spear that was kind of come shooting out towards the person opening it. There's nothing behind it. Well, there's a new spear for you, Wellman. Hmm. Yeah, hand him the spear. It's jammed yeah. in there. So. Yeah, you'll have to kind of oh. tug a bit because I sort of pooched the trap. You'd have well, I guess if you unjammed it, it would shoot it at you. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have we could have Wilmot open it, and he could catch these things. Can I try pulling it out? It's a new act for the circus. <laughs> um, yeah, you Why grab it. He doesn't and you, catch you it with it, his head. You you unjam it, and it's going yeah. to it's going to fire at you. It hits. Well, I'm not going to stand in front of it. Well, you got to stand in front of it to grab it. It's embedded you in the can't. wall. It's in a you tube. Can't. Right? And you, you got to pull it out. Just leave it. Oh, my God. Well, no. He, no, he used his strength <laughs> to pull it free. I'm not going to pull. Well, I'm going to stand in front of a. There's a no. So how would you do it without being in front of it? How would you reach in and grab it? Without... Oh, I thought it was sticky. You said it jammed coming out. I thought it was out a little bit. So that you can grab it. No, I broke the trap before it went off. So he jammed it. So that okay, it I go thought off. it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was sticking out, like it, it had come out and jammed. No, he jammed it so it wouldn't go off. Okay, well I'll leave it alone. Okay. Uh, we'll repeat some of this on the second door up there. Okay. I mean, I check. Check the hallway between here and there, and then check the door. Okay, so roll investigation to check the floor, and then roll investigation to check the door. Okay. So 13 on floor, 8 on door. Okay, does not appear to be Weren't, locked or Weren't you going to assist him with all these investigations, Ulsa? Yeah, now I'm standing back now. <laughs> she's, she's, she's trying to figure out how to get that spear out of there. We can just, like release it She's just like, no one in front of it but then that ruined the blade edge man I take it this door looks exactly like the other one similar um, so I mean is it going to be possible to stand to the side and open the door 
Yeah. So I'll do that. Make sure everybody's cl everybody's clear. It shoots a spear. <laughs> it shoots a spear out of it. Sticks into the wall on the other side. Ching. It's a false door too. There you go. Is it? There's just nothing behind it. Yeah, I'm assuming Correct. it's a false door as well. Oh fuck. Okay. Um, I want to investigate now, the rest of this hallway and see if there's in. any other any other secret passages other than this gate in the south. I'll, I'll help him look up, up north. Wellmet will take a feather again and he'll <laughs> uh, touch the orb over here. This gold orb or whatever it is. Okay. So one thing at a time here. Um, Torin and Ulsa are searching for secret doors. So Torin, give me a investigation check with advantage. Natural 20 for a 25. Okay, you find a secret door right here. Let me just... The spear helped us. Right where the spear is sticking. <laughs> and now, Wellmet, you are over here playing with this ball. Looks like yellow. Can I pull this spear out? Sure. If it's stuck in wood. I hand it to Wellmet. There you go. Merry Christmas. And... Scroll, scroll, scroll. Do you want the spear, Wilmot? Spear! Okay, I hand you a spear. Alright, so Wilmot, you go over to that one, and you're like, you're reaching up trying to, trying to grab it, it's kind of high. That little orb, and you're reaching up. I don't want to grab it. I want to pluck a feather, and I want to touch it. I'm not gonna grab nothing in this place. All right, you take your little feather, and you don't feel anything. Okay. <laughs> I, I'll touch it after that. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go like sticking. I just had like a a spear disintegrate when okay. I. All right, you, you go, you reach up and you touch, you touch that sphere, and your hand goes through the wall. <laughs> oh, what? You're like, where's my hand? <laughs> is is this whole hallway glowing as well with the detect magic? Oh yeah, there's lots of magical. What place did we get in ourselves into here? This place is crazy. Yeah, it is. So yes, well met. Your hand goes through the wall over here. And Torin and Ulsa spotted a secret door over here. Watch the uh, exit of this place takes us back to the Moonshay Isles. We gotta touch oh. stuff to figure it out. So okay, so... We've got a... Let's... Can we can we take a a bio? Sure. Yeah, we can take a uh, a bio break. So stay tuned. Awesome. We'll be, be back in uh, five five minutes here.
<laughs> and we're back. We're live. <laughs> go, go. All right. So where we left off, uh, Wellmet had found an illusionary wall over here, and Torin found a secret door over here. Wellmet like will stick his head through to okay. see if he can see on the other side. And like the spear. I know. He was just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, where well, did Wellmet go? So Wellmet knows about illusions. I mean, I don't think anybody knows what Wellmet knows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, after last week's comment, if you have not grabbed a notepad and started writing down certain words that we say <laughs> that you can repeat. You're falling short in this character, dude. <laughs> so, can Wilmot see in the dark? No. All right, you poke your head in, and it is dark. <laughs> <laughs> I go back in the hallway. <laughs> I hope he can. <laughs> <laughs> Help! My head's stuck. Where well, where'd the bird go? Uh, should we check this door out? Well, it will squawk. I turn around. Which, which draws attention, I'm sure. We look in his direction. Expectantly. And he'll stick his arm through the, the illusion. Through the stone part or through the actual gassy part? It look, just looks like a wall. Uh, it's got a, a archway with the gassy stuff in it, like the first mm. one we went. No, 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 not where I am. No. Mm -mm. No. Oh, the other end of the hallway. All right, Torn's going to go up and investigate. Okay. Ooh. You're like, See a hallway you, you, you think this you think this bird's crazy. You start pounding on the north wall. Oh, dear God. No, no, over he'll he'll like he'll show him. Okay. He grabs him and just pushes him through. <laughs> <laughs> of all investigation checks to scrub. Do the other walls do the same thing? Um, show me where you're putting your oh, hand over the wall. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. I'll wait for them. Okay. <laughs> so I see this. You see this little three foot offshoot. wide. Yeah. Um, three foot wide chamber leads around a corner. <clears throat> I'll stick my head back through them or half my body and tell them what I see. Three foot hallway curves a bit north to the right. Like the other secret passages we've been going through? Yeah, but it's not a crawl space. Not a crawl space. You want to look through this door first, see what's down here? Yeah, what's, what's to this door what's first? Okay. So Torn will go back. My Torn's and... getting a workout tonight. Yeah. Let's well, check check that for traps, yo. This is his bread and butter, so. Okay. Ride you through here all night. Easy there. <laughs> I hold him in front of the door. <laughs> yeah, check that for traps. You do. Not a fucking Geiger counter. <laughs> <laughs> kind of are. So where are you going? Uh, to the crawl space. I'm going to investigate the crawl space and go in and head down a bit and investigate. Okay. So it oh, opens up into open. a... Path that follows pretty close behind. Five. It's a five foot by five foot room. Uh, the crawl space on the east side of the wall goes yeah, this into is a, like five a five hallway. foot by five foot room. Yeah, this is more of like a hallway than a... Uh, or like a... It's more smooth stone walls as opposed to carving. That's it. It goes into a five foot by. Can I follow him in there? 
Well, mm, brass it's only five foot. Oh, the big is, dragon. Is Trillic leaving a trail of blood as he walks around? Probably. <laughs> He's, He's like... fine. Okay. Yeah, you investigate around. You don't see anything. Seems bare. Hey, uh, uh, I'm going to go back out of the hallway and join them and be like, yeah, Brass, but I asked you a moment ago, maybe you could kick in some healing right now. I'm feeling a little worse for wear. Oh, there it is. Brass, but. Okay, so as you're as you're trying to investigate uh, in this room, you know it doesn't appear to have any exits. And yeah, you're stumped. You you don't have any idea about this room. <laughs> it's a melody. Is that a spell? So you're not casting? Because <laughs> I don't see any numbers. <laughs> Pulse is like, hey, brass butt, can I check that room out? I want to see what's in there. Yeah, I got out of the way. I've long since because oh, okay. uh, Torn said there was nothing in there. So I'm gonna go look around. Yeah, Torn's gonna go back out in the main hallway. He's gonna walk up to Brass Bud. He's gonna pull out one of his healing potions, and he's gonna say, "This is coming out of your share." And he drinks the healing potion. You're fine. What are you? Uh, waste of a potion. Hey, <laughs> Mister plays a soothing tune. <laughs> You're fine. That's why I'm following you. You're fine. I'm I'm You're fine. I You're took nearly head. half poison hit points. You're okay. Uh huh. I'm better now. All right. Uh, Olsa, you you head in there. Uh, you see. Uh, straight ahead on the west, or sorry, the east wall. You, you start brushing some stuff aside, and you see that there are seven studs all in a row. On the wall. I whistle. <laughs> Wellmet goes in there. For Wellmet, you hear a mating call. Hate. <laughs> <laughs> a mating call? <laughs> do you have a torch? Yes, I do oh, have a torch. You can't okay. see in the dark. He'll, he'll go in there. He can't, he can't go in there. He, he can't? Why not? Well, his, his token can't. Oh. Well, she's small. She can technically fit in the same space as another person. Um, so can you? So there's seven. <laughs> there's seven studs on the wall. Yeah, all in a row. <laughs> in a row. <laughs> she's gonna push one. All right, you push number one. It goes in like a button. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I'll push the second Stop. one. No, 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 okay. no, no. In we're like going a in a circle. Now I am convinced we're in a circle. I don't know what this is like. Lost. <laughs> no, pretty because... soon we'll be in, like there'll be some hole with a yellow light coming out of. No, 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 no. Because when when first got teleported in, what were we teleported into? A five by five cube with three levers. Right. And so now we have like gone in a circle, to a different portal opening which we saw on the other side there so it's a different temple different door i'll hit the third one no, no, it goes stop in. <laughs> goes in the fourth one it's just gonna go Put around it. goes in now do the other ones pop out or are they just all just they go in and then Five, six, and seven are all out. One, two, three, and four are all in. <laughs> if I hit the same one that I just pushed, does it pop back out, or is it just in as in? Uh, you push it, and it'll pop out, yeah. Well, let's lock all these in place, guys. Hey, I think this will. This is um, a puzzle we can solve. <laughs> well, you guys are smarter than me. <laughs> I'm just a dumb barbarian. 
But, yeah, and I keep telling you to stop and you keep pushing more buttons. I hit the next button. You're gonna open a little a little passage. All right, so there so gonna... you <laughs> All right, so Wilmet is over there playing with a button and so what you push that same button in because he just popped it out. Oh no, it's no, it's gonna do six. I'll oh. push it back in. All right, so you do I mean one. Wilmet I, I he's he's not very bright. Okay. Neither is and uh Ulse is not that wise either, to be honest. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six are all pushed in. I Torrid. slowly. <laughs> we'll together. Move we'll do my it together. Hand. Torin. We do it together. <laughs> all right. You <laughs> you push the seventh one in, and the I door think that opens. The healing potion was a little stale. I I gave you a cure wounds for. Yeah, after I drank the healing potion. No, the door opens in theory, up. my role was before yours. No, yeah, I was drinking. <laughs> well, you got both. <laughs> it was like an extra special potion. I took both. Okay, making right. sure you did. In um, So, Torin, th sorry, go ahead, Cliff. So the door opens up into a 5 foot by 10 foot room. And go ahead and give me, well, tell me what you're going to do. Uh, I'm gonna feel around and look. Roll investigation. I think you're muted, Keith. Yep, you 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 feel up also. Hey, I slap <laughs> his hand away. Fucking bird. <laughs> Just because he saved my life, he doesn't mean you have I'm not an object. Uh, well, so it's just this. Another room. I, I tell everyone, hey, there's more more space back here. We found. Brass butt will go in. Uh, I'll investigate. Torn will go. I guess it's where it ends. It like follows. Okay, roll investigation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're just like <laughs> you, well, you accidentally slap uh, well met on the butt. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking bird. I'll try a lot, but not weird bird people. Okay. I when think Torn... there's something back there, Torin, but we can't figure it out. <laughs> when Torin gets into the room, he's going to investigate. <laughs> oh my god, our next... What, gonna... get out. what does the room look like? Uh, it's five foot by... Five ten. foot by ten. Uh, go ahead and roll... Um, well, who's in there? It's not a whole lot of room. Well, it left. Also, okay. also was was leaving, going back. Brass butt went behind Olsa. Okay. Okay. Too bad Olsa is not uh, assisting. Helping. I thought. So what's Brass butt? Brass butt doing? Was Brass butt all by himself now? Okay. Yep. Do I, what do I need to do? Roll investigation. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Brass butt can't find his way back out. <laughs> Starts playing his bagpipes. He likes the acoustics in here. Yeah. Torin goes running out. <laughs> There's got to be yeah. something in here. There were seven buttons. I figured out the seven buttons. Damn it. Okay. Well. There's still Trillic. He hasn't searched. Uh, Trillic, come look at this. I'll it looks you. like a. It looks yeah, like I a dead like end. Behind Torin. Did Torin search? I thought Torin yeah. did yeah. search. Yep. Rolled a seven. All right. Well, Trillic will try. Okay. Brass Buttle, like, tell him where he already looked. Okay, so he'll assist. Aid. <clears throat> All right, you have advantage. A 16. There we go. All right. So took everybody in the party. You search and you find a secret door in the south that appears to just slide to the left. Well, brass bottle slide it to the left after Trillic points it out. Okay. Goes into another five foot by five <laughs> foot room. This time there's ten buttons. Oh, well, we don't know yet. Uh, investigate it. Okay, give me an investigation. 
Nice. All right, so on this one, <clears throat> this one there's a door to the east that slides up. I'll keep following them. This is horrible. This is torturous. I open it. It already slid up. Do you want me to investigate from here on? Oh, hang on one second. Sure. But let's have someone Make assist lead, you. Torn. I can see pretty well in the dark, but it would help if somebody had a, a light over me so we could slide I, that in as a constitution yeah. of uh, assistance. I believe yeah, I... Raspa uses torches? Let me see. I can't okay. move any further, so I was oh, going to okay. help you. I do have a torch, and I was going to follow you. There you go. Also is right on your heels, or under your heels. Okay. It's a uh, 30 oh. foot. <clears throat> and then Raspa. Or 15, sorry, 15 foot by uh, 5. So, 14 investigation. Okay. All right, you find a secret door over here. That goes this direction. I'm still seeing the first Can hallway that we came line? into. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm all well met. Come on. Well met. Well met. Well met will go in. <laughs> There's your mating call. <laughs> no, no mating call. Down, well met. Okay. Give me another investigation. 23. You find another secret door to the north. This one. I swear, who builds these places? Mm hmm. I know. I'm surprised we haven't find buried builders. This is the kind of place they would. I mean, what's what's the point? You have a secret door to hide something. You don't have multiple secret doors unless you're just slowing people down or wasting time. Okay. <clears throat> uh, with a ten, I'll give you a ten. Find another secret door to the north, and you find a door to the west. Regular old door. <clears throat> okay, okay, so we'll check them for traps. Can't okay, roll it. Well, I was going to follow them and hold out my yeah. torch Ol for him. Olsa's been close by and assisting in any way that she can. Yeah, brass butt behind that and Trillic pulling up the rear. Okay. Well, that's in there somewhere. <laughs> It does not appear to be locked or trapped. Okay. Well, it's in the dark again. I know. There's no one around you with light. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. I've got. I'm gonna light up a torch. I mean, I have some torches. Trillic has dancing lights. Okay. So, Torin's gonna crack the door open and try to peer in. All right. Uh, you crack the door open. Uh, the hinge is on the right. And so you can only see basically the a door over here on the left. Looks like it opens up into a larger room, but you can't see it very well from staying inside. Was yeah, he'll... Another secret we'll, door, or was it a regular he'll, door? Regular. He'll whisper that back to the party. Let's, let's go through it. I'm sick of this place. Okay, so he's going to open up the door fully and step in. Okay. You step in. What appeared to be a statue an instant ago comes to life before your eyes. The creature Ooh. flaps its wings and stares at you. Murder machine with wings. Indeed. And it means business. Everybody roll initiative.
You're welcome, fuckers. <laughs> this is like a first edition dungeon. Straight up. It, it does feel like that. All right. Ulsa. Uh, well, I'm going to try to run by Torin and jump in front of this thing. Okay. So 5, 10, 15. We'll put you there. Okay. Yeah. Stab at it. All right. <clears throat> you stab at the four armed gargoyle. Damn. Four armed gargoyle. Not just a normal gargoyle. It has to have fucking four arms. Yep. I have a torch in my hand, so I'm going to do a one handed attack. Okay. Go for it. Um, 25. All right. 25 is a hit. Six points of damage. And uh, 13. Okay. And a 13 is going to be a miss. Okay. Up with all these forearm things. All right. <clears throat> well, now this four-armed gargoyle is going to attack Ulsa first, and it's going to go all fucking ape shit on Ulsa. It is going to do three attacks, claw, claw, bite, <laughs> claw, claw, bite. All right. Oh, uh, one hit. Okay. Bite hit. So four piercing from the bite. And now it's Torrin's turn. I haven't uh, encountered a claw claw bite in years. <laughs> a little classic. Torrin's going to move to there and attack with his rapier. Okay. Looking for any chinks. 14 to hit. Uh, 14 is a miss. Okay. That's it for his turn. Wilmot. Wilmot, is there just a line of bodies in between? Because I don't have any 10, awareness of what. 15, I can't see anything. 20. 20 movement gets you. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20 movement gets you there. Oh. Yeah, you can hear combat and shouting and things like that. I'll run up to here and then. I will, uh, I'll punch it, and then I'll flip the torch over into my other hand and punch it with my other hand. Or try to, anyway. Um, okay. Give me an attack roll. Okay. So the first one... Uh, Do I have advantage? Is... Yeah, I'll give you advantage. So AC 25 is a hit. And, and then you're going to flip it up into the air and try to catch it with the other one and try and do a punch. So I'll say that punch is at a disadvantage. Okay. Making it a normal attack. So AC 9 is a miss. Okay. Anything else? Uh, nope, not yet. Okay. Brass butt. Uh, brass butt's gonna run in. Okay. All right, let's move brass butt in there. Five, ten, fifteen puts you there. And he's going to cast Haste on Ulsa. Alright. Haste it is. Nice. Trillic. 
And then Trillic's gonna run in there. What's the gargoyle made out of? Is it like made out of stone? It looks like he's a stone statue that's moving. I'm going to cast Shatter at it. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at that. So if it is stone, it gets um, a disadvantage to its save. Let's see, he is considered a medium elemental. He is an earth elemental. Oh, oh, hold on. Can I not do that? Okay. It's yeah, going to hit everybody in here. Because that's going to hit all of us. Yes, it will. Could, can I not do that? Sure. Thank you. I shall instead Scorching Ray. <clears throat> Alright, Scorching Ray. AC 14 is a miss. Alright, initiative. Fucking Wellmet's just slow as shit this session. Olsa goes first. Well, I got four of these, so I might as well rage, but I'm not going to frenzy. So I won't get my exhaustion afterwards. Okay. So I'll take my first two attacks. Uh, 20. Or eight points of damage. A crit. For 11, 13, or uh, yeah, 13 damage. Is that, does that include the crit damage? It this? does, yeah. So the, the plus is the crit damage. And then I'll take the third attack from haste, right? Go for it. Hit. Nice. So another eight points of damage. Okay. And now he's going to go. One, two, three. All right. One attack at Torin and two attacks at Ulsa. So one claw at Torin, another claw at Ulsa. And a bite it's a miss. at Ulsa. Uh, both missed. All right. Brass butt. Brass butt is going to haste well met. So haste is a concentration. Oh no, hold on, sorry. Yeah. Damn, see? I'm fucking this all up. Never mind. Can I take that back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm not a bard, I'm only playing one on this session. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would have been play, play some music. Yeah, don't no. Dragon Boy. Because that would have stunned me. Doesn't he have like some added D8 or something to somebody? Yes, but I don't know. Bardic inspiration. Alright, he will... Bardic inspiration uh, Wellmet. Okay. Alright, Wellmet. So in the next 10 minutes, I've got a D6. Is that what uh, I D8, I believe. D8. D8. 
Okay. All right. He's going to not, like, try to do that fancy hand flipping shit, and he's just going to start kicking the damn thing. Or trying to. Maybe not. That's a miss. That's a hit. Um, and that's it. Okay. Trillic. Muted. Uh, tr <laughs> yep. Trillic is getting a magic missile at fourth level. Okay. Bam. So how many is that? Five. Destroyed. Yeah, five of them. Five missiles go flying at this thing, and you destroy the gargoyle. Well done. <laughs> well met. Will assist in anybody that wants to investigate something. Okay. Torn is actually going to check out the room. Okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. Okay. 22. Yeah, you, you begin checking out the place uh, amidst the debris from this uh, gargoyle. You find that there was a collar around its neck, a studded collar with ten gleaming gems. Um, Torn's going to pull out a a small sack and pick it up with the sack, put it in the sack and put the sack away. You don't want to put it on? Mm. <laughs> okay, so without touching it, you just grab Correct. it. Correct. Okay. Like a doggy, doggy bag. All right. And I think we are actually going to stop there for the night, but let's do some XP. Right on. Let's see. I, th I think tweet, I want to do XP. Tweet. Sometimes I do XP on the screen, and sometimes I don't. So I'm like, ah, I should probably just do XP while we're while we're live here. So all right, let's add up some XP. So let's do 2,087 XP per player. And I'll also put that into our Discord chat over here. XP uh, 2,087. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. What is this crazy, crazy place? I don't know, but you better tune in next next week to find out what is <laughs> the mouth this? of madness. <laughs> yeah, into the mouth of madness or whatever whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube at TWK Live to find all of our previous episodes uh, and to rewatch this one because it was so awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. Yep, keep smiling. <laughs>